Well, welcome, welcome back, back to Art, art School. School. All right, all right, all right. We're back for more Art School. Where did we leave off? Draw a logo for a pet food company. Yeah, that's right. Our fish eating a bowl of cereal. That'll be good. Um... Did we have any? Oh, we figured out that we could, we could do this. Yeah, that's cool. Let's go sit atop this, this pencil. If I can get up there, nice. Wish there was a way to pan the camera around, but that's okay. Oh, look, there's a little clock up here. That's cool. I didn't notice that before. All right, so let's just get right to this um logo. Gotta plug this in. Let's see. Sweet. Um. So we have all six of these colors. How do we draw a fish eating a bowl of cereal? What color is it? A fish? Should we do like a yellow fish? Alright, let's start by filling in the background, I think. Dark background so we can contrast it with the, the light yellow fish. Um, and then the fish can kind of come around like this, have its little fish body. This will probably end up being behind the big bowl of cereal, so that's okay. Um, it needs a little fish face. Oh dear. Um, a, f a fish mouth. And like fish fins. Ah, there we go. That looks like a fish. Now we need little... little fin arms. There we go. And now we gotta include our bowl of cereal somehow, so... Uh, first should we color in this fish? Yes. The answer is yes, we should. Uh, let's leave the arm like that. We give it some texture. <laughs> and, uh, and I will draw the bowl. The old bowl of fish, fishy f food. I want to make sure we can like see inside. That's good. Just color that in. Um, the fish is gonna need some kind of utensil for eating. It's probably like a, a big old spoon. I'm also going to quickly make sure that the bowl doesn't have the fish's body in it. Now, um, I guess we're going to use blue for the, like, liquid wherein the cereal shall sit. And then, do we do, like, pink, pink cereal puffs? Yes, I think so. These are our cereal bits. Just get all of these in here. Oh, and I guess logos usually have like words or something, right? Um, pet. Oh, that's nice. That's really good. Yeah, I'm I'm very happy with that. Okay. Now where can we go now that we have this new ability? 
Oh, we can finally make it to the top of this this tower thing. Let's see what wonders there are up here. It seems like the only wonder might just be the ability to look across the land. Alright, so then I say first we turn this into the professor. Let's see what he thinks. Alright, this, this he's fine. So yeah, we're still missing three brushes. Um where do we diagram your favorite sentence? I don't think I have a favorite sentence. Oh, we got a cutscene. mama message telling her that we're doing great at art school because we are um okay so yeah we want to try to figure out where where we might find some of these last bits of a uh, brush hold on did some of the colors change or am I just crazy? Cause di didn't these rocks used to be blue? Oh, that's weird. Okay. Interesting. Oh, what has happened? I got stuck a little bit. Oh yeah, let's let's see if we can find find some goodies. Um, where have we neglected to visit? I guess we've got a lot of those clouds that they they might be hiding some secrets. Have we been to this far away island? I'm not sure. Let's go over there. It's nice that it still makes the walking noise while I'm in the air. I'm gonna pass by Penguin House real quick. Yeah, Penguin House was definitely a different color before. Okay, very interesting. There we go, we made it on top of this. And what secrets are held on this small floating island? Oh no, wait, we have been here before. Yeah, this is the one that has that little desk. Hmm. Okay. Wait, no, I didn't... I didn't mean to do that. thought of a good sentence. This piece needs a little more work. What if that's my favorite sentence? And my diagram is just a blank piece of paper because it needs a little more work. So could there be secrets hidden within these clouds? I know not for what the cloud holds. I don't see anything there. Oh, look at that face. I don't know if I had noticed that face before. The end of that uh, staircase. Yeah, look at that. How cute. Alright, how do we find these remaining brushes. 
Where could they be? Have I missed any any big island place? Or have I visited them all mostly? We've got this cloud right here. I guess we can go to Oh! Looks like there's something Oh no, this is we've been to this cloud before. That was just a weird floating polygon. Yeah. Okay. Not terribly exciting, unfortunately. What about over here? Is that just cloud texture? Or is that some kind of item? It looks just like texture or like another the polygon is just chilling. Yeah, it's just chilling. Hmm. Where to go then? I guess maybe we can just work on work on this assignment. Let's do it on top of one of these clouds. Let's get up here. Beautiful landscape. All right, so I think I am gonna go with the. Uh, this diagram needs a little more work, or whatever it is that the professor usually says. Um, so we're gonna try to draw the professor, like looking at our blank piece of work. So first we need the white paper. On how does that show up? I can't see. Maybe we need to... Oh wait! This used to be like our our blue color, but now it's more of a, a purple. Interesting. Still got the pink. Our yellow got a little darker. Okay, well we're gonna use that for the background then. And let's take a look at this white. See if we can draw a piece of paper here. Cool. Just fill that in. And now we want the professor. How do we draw? Can we use like the rainbow tool? Like I'm trying to get that crazy color effect. Um, we could also maybe use this square one because he's kind of made of a bunch of pixels there we go just a bunch of colors that's what he looks like yep let's keep him coming let's do some yellows oh, we already did pinks did we do both of these purples or just one i don't think we did this darker purple yet there we go, that's Professor Quartz. And then he also has just this kind of tail that sticks off the end. Right here. So we're just gonna do the same thing to that. I wonder if we can use this tool. Ooh, that might be good too. Oh, that was too much. Yeah, I just need to give it little little taps. Then we need his eyeballs. Which there we go. We've got Professor Quartz looking at our blank paper, diagramming my favorite sentence, which is looks like this. It needs a little more work or something like that. Whatever it is that he normally says. Let's go turn it in.
sweetness. He liked our uh, representation of himself. What was I doing before I was doing this? Oh, I realize that his eyes are a little less white and more black, but that's that's okay. Let's not go into his to his office. Well, uh, I think we'll stop it there. Try to make these videos a little bit shorter because art school is just just terribly exciting. <laughs> no, I'm I'm actually enjoying this a lot. This is this is pretty pretty good fun. But uh, with that, thanks for watching. Bye.